kind of crater looking thing right here. Let's rise up. And if we can reveal that, if it loads, it is the crater. The one right east of Nibelheim that we saw earlier. If we head over here, we can actually dock and land and head into the waterfall. That is our destination. This we need Stefan for. Stefan. That voice. It can't be. Lucrezia? Stefan? Lucrezia, stay back! And we get a flashback. We're back in Nibelheim, it looks like that is Lucrezia, and Stefan is a Turk. Must be quite a ways back. Looks like he's getting along with, I assume that's Lucrezia. She's one of the scientists. Oh. She scorned him and went to another. Is that Professor Gast? It's definitely another scientist. She's happy then. I don't mind. It sounds noble, but I don't believe you, Stefan. I'm against it. Why experiment on humans? She and I are both scientists. Oh, this is not sounding good. After that, a child was born to Lucrezia. That child's name is... Sephiroth. She collapsed, this is bad. <laughs> He shot Stefan! What? Why? No. Start doing experimentation. is the punishment that's been given to me. I was unable to stop Professor Gaston Hojo and Lucrezia. I was unable to stop them. All that I was able to do was watch. That is my punishment. Lucrezia, you're alive. I wanted to disappear. I couldn't be with anyone. I wanted to die. But the Genova inside me wouldn't let me die. Lately, I dream a lot of Sephiroth, my dear, dear child. Ever since he was born, I never got to hold him, even once. Not even once. You can't call me his mother? That is my sin. Back! Stay back! Stefan, won't you please tell me? What? If Sephiroth is still alive? I heard that he died five years ago, but I see him in my dreams so often. And I know that physically, like myself, he can't die so easily. Please, Stefan, tell me. Lucrezia. Sephiroth is dead. And that's the answer that we have to give. Sephiroth is dead. But we are not exactly done here. Now, unfortunately, what we need to do is get into a few battles. I believe it is 10 in particular. But I say unfortunately because you can't get into a battle right here. So I need to take the sub all the way out and get into a fight. Well, get into 10 fights and I'll be back. And I have fought 10 battles. I believe 11 just to be on the safe side. So let's head back into the waterfall.
she's not here anymore. Lucrezia. And we get the death penalty and chaos out of that. Both are exactly what you would think they are. One is the ultimate weapon for Stefan. Death penalty. It doesn't have a very high attack percentage, but it does have quite a bit of attack. This is actually one of his best weapons, obviously, because it's his ultimate weapon, even though the attack percentage is low. It levels up the more that Stefan kills things. So this is very easy to level up and to kind of make yourself very, very powerful with. Just use the death penalty. But we did get an item out of that as well. It is, as I'm sure you'll imagine, his level four limit break. Chaos. And he is already ready to use it. I'm getting less human. Kind of makes me sad. Kind of makes me sad. As you can see, I never really got a chance for him to, to use Hellmasker, which we will show off at some point. You know, turn into Galleon Beast, turn into Death Gigas, turn into Hellmask. Apparently not Hellmasker. Transforms to Chaos. So we're going to go ahead and set that for him. And he is fully upgraded. So I'm just going to meet you at the next side quest area that we need to go to. I apologize that things have been rather dark so far this session. Back in the submarine, we are at the northern continent, pretty far north here. Uh, pretty much the furthest north they will allow me to go. A little bit to the west of Bone Village. So, let's submerge here once again. Let's double check that I'm not being followed. Now this is more like it. Once again, I don't think he can actually show up here, but damn it if I'm not paranoid now. Uh, what we need to do is head through another tunnel. Well, more like a cave that is kind of hidden here. It seems like a key to somewhere. It seems really old. Analysis completed. Exact date of origin cannot be determined. Estimated to be several thousand years old. That is quite old. Several thousand years. Ancients? We received the key item, Key to Ancients. You notice that crashes back in the party. And the Shinra guys never left. If you notice, though, this cave is pretty close to where the, uh, the ancient town was, so it's not too surprising that we find something of theirs there. Let's go back up to the surface. We are done here. We have the key to the something. Key to the ancient something. That should be useful for later. This isn't really optional. You do have to do it, but you can get it now. So we might as well get it out of the way while I'm doing stuff in the submarine. I am now done with the submarine for at least a little bit. So I will just meet you at our next location. And we are back in Wutai. Well, right outside Wutai. Now we are in Wutai. We are back here for one very specific thing. Since we already have everything that we need for Spaz, obviously this is not going to be something for her. Instead, we are doing something that is kind of related to her. But if you remember, there were statues over here. We need to do something with the caves around here. Do you guys remember that there were caves? We still have random encounters out here though. But if you remember the caves from here, they were on fire. And there was nothing that we could do to deal with that. However, we do have something to deal with that now. So let's head into the cave. This is the one in particular. It was on fire. The scale of the sea god sh shines. For a reason I want to say shrines. This is the use of the Leviathan scales that we picked up. The scale of the sea god shines. And as a result, we're able to defeat the flame, which could not be extinguished any other way, apparently. But if we open this up, we get an Oritsuru. This is a weapon for Spaz. And it's not going to be better than what I already have. 
I can just tell you that right now. Be because I do have the conformer. And I have double. You know, I have everything that's double. And I don't think that is double. We'll take a look at it at some point. And in here, we can get the steel as well materia. This is a very good materia. Uh, let's take a look at what it does with uh, Crash. So, I have like Shiva and Elemental here. Now that it's that important. With the steel as well materia, you steal simultaneously when paired materia is used. So, should I summon Shiva? I would summon Shiva and then steal. It's useful, I mean, it has its uses, but I would much rather just have the steel command material most of the time. With that done, we are done with side quests for now. So, I will meet you where we can pick up with the plot again. And we are ready to pick up with the plot. For those of you that are curious, let's talk to everybody on board the ship. Let's go ahead and talk to Spaz first. Now that we know Spaz is still having motion sickness. I wonder why anyone would ever make an airship like this. Uh, we no longer mistakenly say, back when I was in Soldier, I was definitely supposed to talk to her before we found out that Fred was not in Soldier. But now we know he wasn't. It was the black-haired man. Zach! Them Shinru's are all gathered at Crash's Rocket Town. Yep, there ain't nothing I like more than letting out secrets. I'm not sure I like you then. I'm sure I have plenty of secrets that I want to keep from Shinra. Ah! Oh no, no, no! Sorry, I'm in the middle of a very delicate operation. They still will not talk to me. Them Shinra guys think they're gonna fight Meteor with the huge materia? Yes, that is the plan, actually. How are you feeling? You ought to rest a bit. Don't push yourself. Really? I'm the strongest out of anybody here because I still cannot be out of the party.